everyone, welcome back to Game of Thrones, a Telltale game. And we are back, and at the moment we are going to choose a sentinel, and he's set to go around and talk to people. So I assume... We'll just start somewhere and kind of... What's this? The shield. We got our brother here. Let's go talk to him. Are you holding... Careful! Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? I'm honoured. Someday, I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. I must enforce the rules. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad, you can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real Ouch. sword. No Kids one's afraid brutal. of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Fair enough. Can I talk to this guy about it? Here on a sec, I need to see if I can... I don't like the lack of sensitivity on this. Controls? No. I don't know, I clicked on that one. Gameplay. Graphics. Dang, there's no way to... Huh. I think it is a little dark, so we'll turn this up a bit. Um, yeah, there's no way to turn the sensitivity up. That's kind of weird. Oh, well. We'll live you with it. You can lift them, yeah? Yeah, we can't talk to this guy. Let's look at this. <coughs> Not much going on out there. Got a guard. Walking in a circle here. We're working our way downtown. No, 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 no. Okay, that's embarrassing. I'm done. You're all worth Let's talk to Sir Royland. Sword up. Swing left. Barry. Wrong. I didn't know dogs Royland. could hold Wrong. sword. Wrong word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. Pick me. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet. But I appreciate your opinion. So, mm. when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. This is a hard decision. This guy seems like the tough guy that does this thing and... I could just give it to him now. <laughs> oh man. Who's this Malcolm guy? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. 
I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Oh, where are you going? Oh, where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. <coughs> you know that just as well. I will be gentle. My mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you do. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. Sorry, it's still my sick. People are scared as well. And I say that every I'm video. I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice, and I'd trust him. Why, Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. What do you want? Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. What about it? I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Let's see where else we can go. Let's talk to the man himself. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. <clears throat> and if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. What do you think of Sir Royland? Do you trust him? He's a fine warrior, my Lord. But he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. I do not trust him. He's likely to lose his temper and get us all killed. And at the worst possible time. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. What's this right here? Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. If that's what's necessary to keep the house safe, then we must. Aye, a hard choice. But it's what has to be done. I'll see to the arrangements. My lord. He's already acting like Sentinel. I might just pick him. Uh, I don't know, though. Oh, it seems like we've done everything. This is Tower.
I don't know. I'm just thinking. Sounds like one guy's for diplomacy and one guy's for fighting. But I don't think from watching the series, I it looks like this is just. Oh, this is just a overview. But I think Ramsey Snow. There's not really any negotiating with him from watching the series. But also, it's like he said, I don't want him to over mind, undermine me. Yet, so did Duncan. He's Maester. overmind me already. Yes, Lord I don't Ethan. Know. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Let's see what this Are guy you says. prepared to name your sentinel? What's what is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Not necessarily. My lord. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, I yes, guess. Yes, Not much else to do, um... Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Flip, I don't even know what I'm doing yet. Crap, I hate making decisions. So I think Duncan will advise me to, you know... To, di to use diplomacy with him, and I think the other guy will have me try to go to war with him, which I am not really in a position to go to a war right now. Oh, crap. You may sit. I don't even know. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be Thanks on for with cutting it. me off. Thank you, Sir Royland. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. See, he's already kind of undermined me, so I'm kind of leading towards this guy. And uh, there's no there's no negotiating with Ramsey, and he's a warrior. And we're, like you said, we're in a war time where we're going to need to train people. So Royland so de I Gaulle, think we'll pick him. You will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've <laughs> done well, Lord praised. Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Well, you'll get over it. Now. Sentinel, I just ignore what do you him? have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can handle Ramsey Snow. He doesn't scare me. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. <sighs> we must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Respect. The Bolton <laughs> sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We That's must true. take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a Joffrey plan if Mira's help. efforts are he not She really successful. hates the North, if you remember from season one. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything Let's within her power fight to our help decision, us. I think. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. 
<laughs> Why not make an you offering plans, to peace, Royland? my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Um... Okay, we have time to think about this. I think I agree with the fighting. But the problem is, is that we don't have an army, and the Boltons have a massive army, and they also have the White Hills who have a massive army compared to us, so I think there's a time and a place for everything. And I think if he comes and he's having diplomacy, we should try that rather than just chase him out with a sword. So I think diplomacy falling back on fighting if we need to. I don't think bargaining's good, because like I said, if we give up all of our stuff, then there won't be anything, any reason to keep us alive. They'll just kill us and take our land. So, uh, I think I'm going to go with diplomacy, but I would be really be curious to see what fighting would do. Well, let's go Although diplomacy. Although Sir Ryland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. <laughs> Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then... Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into <coughs> this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Crap. Another hard decision. I think the problem with meeting him at the gates would be that <laughs> obviously it'd piss him off. But if we let him into the Great Hall, I don't really see any negative things with that. But I think if we show him our whole force, he'll show him that we don't really have a force. So I think that'd be a problem. But I also don't like Ramsey and would love to like, piss him off. But. We got the house to think of. I think bring him to the Great Hall would be the, the best hall. thing. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? You will lead us into ruin! I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. <laughs> okay. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Holy crap, uh, Duncan is not happy with my decision. I could tell. <laughs> You have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is... volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember well, I guess the it'd be another game, fighting man. how he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, 
Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. Is another sword. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. I don't want him to what take over his needs. lord, but I do want his help. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. We'll send him. If we need to, we'll send Fine. him away again. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. I hope so. But I doubt it. <laughs> uh, like, I don't remember his name. Joffrey doesn't... That's his name, Joffrey. Doesn't really like Northerners, so I doubt he'll help. Doesn't really have any reason to. Oh, I need to click on something. Tyrell family seal. Strange key. Examine. I could pick it up. Ooh. That's tempting, but I really don't want to piss Marjorie off. We'll take it back. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Please don't repeat what you heard to anyone. Of course. I never would. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... No, it doesn't look good. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. <laughs> She's got this old crap look on her face. I better not say anything. <laughs> this didn't go well. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. Figured. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. Just send the if army to reach me, to help us lady. out. Come on. Do something. Useless. Oh, 
Ah, oh, that kid. He's a creeper. Begging your pardon, my lady. How long have you been there? I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Who they? I want to know these people. He ran away. Oh well. That was short lived. <laughs> I got this creeper right here staring at me. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? He should be here. Now fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, <coughs> but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. The plan prevail. is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the Warden you. of no, the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, shall we begin? We do not wish to waste your time. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. He's such a dick. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. <laughs> look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. He's <coughs> acting like a real pedal right now. Force him to focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Oh. Lord Bolton. We'll hear Murren for now. No. Words are He won his thing by treachery. Anyone can we'll... say. Oh, oh. well, and I was going to say refuse. I was reading out loud. My lord. We'll win ours by treachery. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? We'll hear Murren until so we have an army. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries... Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? Oh, that would just that make my day. That well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. 
That's a good little lord. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a Forrester squire who did it. One White Hill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is lord. better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. That oh, no. iron wrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Faggot. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this. What was that look? Forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay. Please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. <laughs> I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <gasps> oh, man. He doesn't that's like that one. Day. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, no! What have you done? No! Now I don't want the bowl. No. Holy crap. Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My lord! No, no! Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come on. However... The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Brian! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian! Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let being that loyal, Batman. You will not take him! He's not betraying, having honor. No! Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. Well, there's a
There's another reason to hate Ramsey Snow. Looks like this might be the end of the episode. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again. Our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Well, it looks like they ended it. You and 65.8% stayed with Bowen. Who was Bowen? I don't know who Bowen was. Oh, wait, is that the... The Squire? Okay. 37% swore loyalty to Marjorie. We're in the minority there. Sent Eric to the wall. Oh, we're in the minority of picking him as a Sentinel. Oh, that's about 50%, exactly. That's it. I should have gone to war with that guy. I'm kind of curious what would happen. But, in any case, thanks everyone for watching. And if you want to see more of this, please show some support by subscribing and liking the video. And if you have any requests for a series or anything, that, or suggestions for these videos, please leave a comment below. And thank you, and I'll see you guys again. Bye.